It's now day seven, but I'm gonna have to do two videos today, which is what I was gonna do yesterday. But where does the time go? I mean, everything has just been so frantic and messed up, so, um, sorry about that, but I am getting back on track today. So I thought I'd talk about my beliefs, which is something that is very strange because I seem to make it apparent that I don't have any beliefs at all. But this isn't completely true. When I was 15 or 16, that was when I started to question exactly what I believed in. I self-identified as a Christian for most of my life, but I never really thought about it. I just sort of followed the crowd, accepted what my teachers and all of my um, authority figures told me. But when I went on YouTube and started looking at some of the videos on there, I started thinking, am I a Christian? Do I actually believe what I've been taught all of my life? I became an agnostic because I thought that was the most rational position that was available. But I also came across an idea known as pantheism. Pantheism is the idea that everything in the universe is God. And for someone who's letting go of theism, Pantheism is a very comforting idea to then sort of move into. At that time I became a pantheist, and I wouldn't say that at any point I stopped being a pantheist. It's just that if anyone ever asks me what my position is, I say that I'm an agnostic atheist. The obvious question is now, are the terms atheism and pantheism mutually exclusive? And it kind of depends, but in my opinion, no, they're not. You can be an atheist and a pantheist at the same time. Of course, it just depends which definition of pantheism and which definition of God you're following. Now, I got in a massive argument with a big group of atheists on a video about this. They were all saying that an atheist is someone who doesn't believe in any definition of God, no matter what you're describing God to be. But I was saying that atheism is the rejection of the first definition of God. The first definition of God is a supernatural being. So that's theism, deism, polytheism, and all other um, little definitions like that. God is a supernatural being, and that is what atheism is rejecting. But there are other definitions of God, and pantheism is one of them. I saw pantheism as a concept rather than the idea of one being. Pantheism, for me, was a way of comprehending the universe. It's beautiful that the universe was able to create something itself. Evolution didn't need, like, a humanoid being in the sky to create what we see today. Evolution was a non-sentient process that was part of this big concept, which I called God. So what do you guys think about that concept? Let me know in the comments below. So, um, see you later on today. Bye.